doing a speed test of the new Galaxy S5 versus the iPhone 5S. So what we're going to be doing this test is comparing like boot times, uh, opening some apps, like browsing the web, I uh, will do some benchmark tests, speed tests, stuff like that. We're pretty much just going to compare the speed and performance of these two phones head to head. So both of these phones are off right now, so first thing we're going to do is a boot test. So I'm going to hit the power buttons on both of these phones at the same time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Give it a second, and let's see which one boots up the fastest. So they're both on the logo right now. Looks like the Galaxy S5 is doing something here. Still got the Apple logo. There's the little Samsung uh, start screen. Still waiting. And there we go. The Samsung Galaxy S5 is booted up. And I'm on my home screen, and we're still waiting on the iPhone 5S. Yes, I know, Galaxy S5, my battery cover. And there we go. There's the iPhone 5S. So there you go. There's a little test of the boot time. So for the next test, we're going to see how fast the camera loads up from the lock screen. Both have the little camera icon where you can swipe up there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that at the same time. And as you see, the, if you notice that, the iPhone 5S camera I loaded up just a little bit faster uh, than the Galaxy S5 camera did, which can actually make a big difference. That little half a second there uh, can be a difference of snapping the picture or not snapping the picture if you're trying to get something uh, that's happening at the moment. I'll also go ahead and take a picture here from the front-facing cameras to see how fast it does that. Three, two, one. And it looked like it was about the same time. I will go ahead and tap on the pictures right there. And the iPhone loaded up just a little bit faster uh, than the Galaxy S5 did. Now to show you this is a fair test, I went ahead and force quit all of the apps running in the background on both phones. And what I did was went ahead and made a page on both phones with all the icons and apps and stuff that I'm going to be opening uh, in this video. So here they are. And the first thing we're going to take a look at is gaming. Not necessarily gaming, but just how fast games open up and load on both these phones. And the first one uh, that we're going to open up is Family Guy. So I'm going to try to tap on both of these at the exact same time. Hopefully it works out. Three, two, one. And there we go, they're both loading up. Looks like the iPhone is a little bit ahead. A good bit ahead, actually. There's a game center loading up on it. And the Galaxy S5 is finally there. So the iPhone is asking me to go ahead and do stuff, and Galaxy S5 is caught up with it now. So there we go. As you've seen, the Family Guy game actually loaded up a little bit faster uh, on the iPhone 5S. Now remember, uh, this is a bigger screen, so it's going to have to push more pixels and stuff like that. So it is a little bit harder for the Galaxy S5, but just that's a demo of just how fast it opens up uh, with the Family Guy game. Next up, we'll go ahead and open up Fruit Ninja. Here we go. Three, two, one. So it looks like the Galaxy S5, when you actually tap on the icon to when the app opens up, uh, is a little bit delayed there, but it actually beat out the game once the app actually got open uh, to load up like the game menu and stuff like that. I'll go ahead and swipe to do a new game on both of these. There we go. Looks like it's about the same. Actually, it looked like the iPhone beat it out a little bit there. And we'll go ahead and start a new game. I'll just do Classic. And there we go. The iPhone is just a little bit faster. And for the last game, I'll go ahead and do Subway Surfers. Here we go. Three, two, one. So it looks like the, the Galaxy S5 did something weird there. Now the iPhone 5 is already loading it up, and the Galaxy S5 is trying to catch up now. I'll go ahead and close that ad. And there we go. So as you've seen, the iPhone 5, I beat it out to opening up subway servers just by a few seconds. I'll go ahead and tap to play. See if it loads up faster that way. It looks like it's about the same. Uh, so there's not too much of a difference, just a little bit of uh, difference on load time. Uh, but other than that, uh, yeah, not big of a deal. Now moving on from gaming, we'll go ahead and open up a couple apps. And the first one I want to check out is Hulu Plus. Uh, so you get an idea of just how fast some video content loads. So here we go. Three, two, one. There we go. Looks like the iPhone's already loaded up there. All right, we got the same show right there. I know the apps look a little bit different, uh, so that could be uh, factored into like how fast they load. But this is just to give you a good idea. So I'm going to tap on the show at the same time and see which one actually loads up and starts playing first. So it looks like the iPhone is again a little bit ahead and faster than the Galaxy S5. So there it goes, it's trying to load up the show now, and the iPhone 5 is already playing it. Next we'll go ahead and open up Instagram, see how fast that loads up. So it looks like the Galaxy S5 actually beat it out there a little bit, uh, but both have loaded up pretty quickly. Uh, the iPhone's lagging up a little bit here. I'll go ahead and tap the home button, and now we will try Twitter. Uh, so two social media apps that probably a lot of you guys use, three, two, one. 
And it looks like the Galaxy S5 again beat it. It's already loaded up my tweets here. Uh, same thing on the iPhone, but it was a little bit faster uh, there on the Galaxy S5. It's not really that big of a difference, but really the half a second over the life of the time you use your phone will add up. So uh, it is really a big deal if you think about it that way. And one more app I'll let you show you guys is the Photos app on both of these phones. Because uh, one thing I've noticed on the Galaxy S5 is the gallery or the Photos app uh, is really slow at times. Uh, so I'm going to compare it to the Photos app on the iPhone 5S. Now, take into account these are two different photos. Uh, apps and they've all got different pictures and stuff in them but this will just give you a little bit of an idea so here we go three two one there we go as you've seen the iPhone is just a little bit faster I'll go ahead and tap on the camera of both these phones and go ahead and actually tap on the picture I took a little bit earlier so here we go three two one and there you go, seeing the iPhone 5S is just a little bit faster, uh, which to me does make a big difference. All right, the next thing we're gonna look at is web browsing of both these phones. And I'm gonna be actually using the Chrome app because that's what I like to use. Uh, and the iPhone's got the Safari app and then the Galaxy S5 has its own browser. Uh, so that way it makes it a little bit more fair. And uh, that's just what I wanna do. So here we go, three, two, one. Go ahead and tap on both those and load it up. Looks like the Galaxy S5 beat out the iPhone 5S to load up the browser there. And now, as you see, I've got these three little links. I'm going to try to tap on these at the exact same time and load up these web pages. So here we go. Three, two, one. And uh, looks like the iPhone 5S has finished loading. So as you see, it loaded up my tech YouTube channel. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and tap here. And I'm going to go ahead and request desktop site. Uh, so that way it actually loads up the full site rather than just the mobile version. So here we go. Three, two, one. And it should load up on both of these phones. Uh, there we go, the iPhone 5S actually beat it out there. That's not done loading yet, but it's almost there. The iPhone, or the Galaxy S5 is still trying to load. And I think it's pretty much done now. All right, I'll go ahead and make a new tab and go back to the bookmarks. And we'll go ahead and try to load 